my name is Dr. Wu. I have been teaching in Aditya for the last 30 years. I give tutorial to medical students one on one basis, and I have been giving the same lecture to them. So I decided to have it taped. Now, anesthesia. What is anesthesia? Anesthesia Anesthesia means loss of sensation. So produce anesthesia, we have to produce a loss of sensation. So how do you produce loss of sensation? In order to produce loss of sensation, we have to know how we get sensation. Sensation, for example, you got fingers, receive sensation, and it goes to your nerve, go into your spinal cord, go up to the thalamus, and the thalamus interpret the sensation. So in order to produce loss of sensation, two ways you can do it. One, you disconnect the transportation, the second one is scrambled interpretation. First, we talk about disconnected the transportation. How do we disconnect the transportation? We don't cut it out. We block the electrical impulse that go into the nerve. So how do we do it? First, we have to find out how nerve conduct. A nerve is a living cell that stretch out into long pieces. So you got a nerve cell that like this. You got dendrites in both ends, receive impulse. So the nerve is a hollow cell. You got sodium on the outside, you got potassium on the inside. Living cell maintain the potential gradient of 75 millivolt because energy is used to maintain the sodium concentration on the outside and potassium concentration on the inside. A nerve could be stimulated mechanically, electrically, or chemically. When the nerve is stimulated, what happens? The sodium allowed to go inside at about 30 times the regular rate. And that way change the polarity of the membrane called depolarization. And then potassium got kicked out and you got repolarization. It happens very fast, within one thousandth of a second. And when one part is depolarized, it will depolarize the other part. And that's how nerve conduct. To block the transport impulse, we block the sodium channel. We block the influx of sodium into the inside the nerve cell. So we block the influx of sodium, there's no depolarization. If there is no depolarization, there is no impulse conduction. What do you use to do that? We use local intent. How do you local anesthetic work? Local anesthetic, the structure of local anesthetic is says basically with a benzene ring. A linkage, an ammonium compound, plus something like that. 
This name name should be Amon or Esther. Amon is So we classify local and set it into Amon and Esther. Amon local and set it is metabolized by the liver. Esther local and set it metabolized by the esterase. In my local aesthetic, you got lidocaine, vapivacaine, and then and several other one that not very often used. Esther, you got coroprocaine. And tetracaine. Mm -hmm. Now, I just say what look at that usually combined with hydrochloric acid. And then you dissociate into local anesthetic. Chloride plus hydrogen. So you look at the label of any local anesthetic, you will see local anesthetic chloride, like lidocaine chloride. So you put local anesthetic onto the nerve. You got all four compounds. This one is lipophilic. So this one will diffuse into the nerve, inside the nerve, and combine with the chloride, become local acidic chloride. And this is the supposed to be the active ingredient that attached to a receptor site in the gate and stop the influx of sodium. So, when you stop the influx of sodium, you don't get con nerve conduction. Now nerve, you can define this, classify the nerve into A, B, C fibers. A fibers consist of alpha, beta, delta, and gamma. Usually, A and B fibers are myelinated. This is non-myelinated. A fiber is larger fibers. Alpha and beta fibers are motor, um, proprioceptor. Delta fibers could be the muscle spindle, and these fibers will see touch, temperature, and then most important, pain. AB fibers are large fibers. And usually large fibers contact faster because they got a myelin shift and an impulse jump from one node of one way to the other one. A fibers could be up to 30 to 50 meters per second. C fibers are pain fibers and some of the temperature fibers. And it's very slow conduction, it's about 1 to 2 meters per second. Okay. Also, larger fibers require the minimum concentration. Larger fibers require higher minimum concentration, no 
Smaller fibers require lower minimum concentration to block each fibers. Most nerves are mixed fibers. So when you put local anesthetic into a nerve, you get different grade of blockage. You could control the concentration, you could only block pain fibers, and leave some of the motor and proprioceptive fiber alone. That's what we use for epidural anesthesia in pregnant women. We use low concentration, low anesthetic to block the pain fibers and leave the motor fiber alone. Okay. So, if you give local anesthetic into any area of the body, the time you put it close to the nerve, the local anesthetic will absorb by the blood into the plasma vascular system and go into the body. Now, every drug you give will go to every cell in the body, all depending on the plasma concentration. The further away from the area view where you put the local anesthetic, the lower the plasma concentration. But the cells in the brain here are very sensitive to the con con local anesthetic plasma concentration. Even a small increase in plasma concentration could affect the brain. That's what toxicity come in. We put a lot of local anesthetic into the body. You absorb that by blood, go into the plasma, go into the brain, and the patient will get starting to get toxicity. Toxicity is very subtle. Patient could be anxious, delirious, confused. And then you got seizures. Finally you got comatose. Especially on a small little lady, you give a lot of local anesthetic, you may find some of the symptoms. Now, how do you treat the symptoms? You find the symptoms, the thing is, treat the symptoms first. You get some benzodiazepine group, like diazepam. And then, in order to treat the toxicity, you get intralipid. Intralipid will bind with the local anesthetic and reduce the toxicity effect. This is one way of losing sensation. You block the conduction of nourishing powers according to the concentration you give and the amount you give and the location of the nerve. If you know the anatomy of the nerve, then you put the local anesthetic to the vicinity of the nerve and you block the impulse of that area.